Following on from our video last week, Bob is back to tell us a little bit more about contract management. Now, most organizations are on a journey and they're somewhere up the maturity curve. So, Bob, over to you. How do we assess where they are or how does an organization, an organization assess where they are and what are the next steps they should take to continue their journey? OK, sure. Thanks, Kavita, and thanks for having me back again. Um, I think there's 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 multiple aspects to 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 that answer and how that should be addressed. So um, I think the the at a high level you've got three key areas I think that need to be looked at and analysed at an organisation uh, to to understand where they are in that maturity curve. Um, so those key three aspects are your um, spend analysis, looking at looking at where you are, you know, your, your typical categories of spend, what the volumes are, where that's going, how that's being managed. Um, spend compliance is also key, um, as is uh, a, a sort of maturity assessment of processes. So to just take each one of them in a little more detail um, with your spend analysis, what, what you're looking for there and, and what uh, a, a good uh, contract management assessment should be focused on is picking up the, the key areas of spend, basing that on volume, uh, basing that on number of suppliers um, <clears throat> and also looking at the, the, the risk of supply. That can then be um, be pulled out from whatever data source you might might encounter at an organisation, um, and once uh, some some analysis has been wrapped around it, you can start plotting that into um, a, a good old uh, Krauzic uh, Krauzic matrix. Rather, now for those that don't know what that is, it's a it's a, it's a quadrant um, which uh, plots risk against spend. Um, with that, you've got a, a routine a leverage, bottleneck, and critical quadrant in that in the uh, in that chart. Um, and through an, uh, analyzing your spend and looking at the risk and looking at your categorizations of spend, you can start plotting your spend areas on that chart to to really give you that insight into which uh, which uh, which aspects of your supply chain are, are a priority for an organization. If you move that forward. Another key aspect, as I mentioned, was was spend compliance, um, and I think that this is it's uh, quite simple at the outset, but actually gives a, a lot of insight into what what you're looking for as a, as this assessment. Um, so at the outset, really, what you're looking for in spend compliance is first of all, are your contracts uh, that you hold are they active or are they expired? Um, and and second of all, really, is okay. Well, knowing the status of them what's the management activities that you got wrapped around them now to actually get into the 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 uh, nuts and bolts of that with an organization then typically you'd need to have some sort of contract register um, that will be um, picking up on the value of the contract it'll also be looking at the um, the, the the terms the dates um, and uh, obviously you'll be able to then look to see whether a contract is active or expired by by actually you know seeing where you are in that contract cycle um so not uh not all of your contracts that you uh you're, you're looking at um uh, are going to be necessarily compliant there's there's a there's a number of agreements that you'll find uh, as examples in, in organizations that just roll think about it. personally you've got your mobile phone contract at home um, often we don't renew at the end of 18 months or two years. It just rolls on until you think, oh, I want that new iPhone. Well, organisations are no different to that. And so this needs to be picked up. Um, the other thing that, as I say, you need to pick up on is like the management activity. So how involved are procurement? How involved are the, the executive management team in understanding um, where you are in a critical supply uh, area? Um, and, and what's the renewal plans for that? So that needs to be picked up there. And finally, the, the, the other aspect that you need to really have a look at is a maturity assessment. Yeah. Now, the, the way I think, uh, or a standard in industry way of looking at this is to, to pick up on resources that are already available. Um, and the National Audit Office have uh, a, a great resource available for this, which is called the Good Practice uh, Contract Management Framework. Um, and so what you can do from that is it, it gives you your stages, the 11 stages I referred to in the last video. Um, <clears throat> it, it gives you the 11 stages of the, the contract management life cycle um, and really gives you kind of a tick list of what good looks like in each of those areas. What would you expect? Now, if you can start applying that to your business um, and one way of doing that is developing a questionnaire, yeah. actually assessing and, and talking to your stakeholders uh, internally where you're at you can start understanding where you are on that maturity cycle yep 
So I think that all those things, when pulled together, really gives you a good overall assessment of, uh, of a, an organisation's maturity. Thank you, Bob. And I think what we're going to do as well is, is your, you've got a, a great blog that covers all of this. So we will share that out as well, because there's so much great information there and, and quite a lot to take in, but some great tips. So we'll share that out as well. Thank you so much. I look forward to our next call. <laughs> <laughs> Speak soon.